Hi guys, how are you doing? My name's Tonner. Um, I'd like to talk to you today about a warm-up. Um, hopefully this warm-up will actually get you warmed up. Um, it sounds a bit odd because I'm seeing a lot of warm-up routines out there that they don't push you enough because of the main thing of the duration that you're playing for. It's kind of like, oh, I do my singles, I do my doubles, I do a few flams, I do a few roughs, and I'm ready to go. That, that's not really a warm-up because you're not maintaining anything. Um, and you want to get a benefit out of what you're doing, so hopefully getting some endurance out of what you're doing, building up some strength, building up a sound that you're making on the pad and to transfer onto the kit. This is quite important to me as a drummer, what you're trying to do. So um, I'm going to put two caveats and criteria on what we're going to do. One is you've got to find a speed that you can do this thing at, and plus you've got to count to 100 counts, 100 clicks on the machine, or you can count uh, 25 bars in 4-4. So if we start off at 80 BPM, which may be fast or slow for you, depending on where your chops are at, um, and I'm going to play 30 second notes, which is eight notes on each beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And then we're going to do that for 100 counts, which will sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And just keep going. Once you've done 100 with the right, Left hand. Three, four. And that's it. So right hand lead, left hand lead, count up to 100. You can notice I'm doing a bit of an accent, um, or a bit of a pump, I should say, on the downbeats. Just to get a, a shape of notes, otherwise it just sounds... There's no shape to what you're doing and you don't tend to play like that. There's always groupings of notes that you play on the kit. So that's pretty straightforward. So without changing the click, I'm going to do my doubles. But if I do them at standard double stroke 30 second note at this speed. It's not fast enough for me. I'm not going to get much out of it. Uh, most drummers can do their doubles quicker than their singles anyway. So if you're one of those kind of guys this is too slow. If, if this is fast enough already, then fine, stick to this. Uh, but I'm trying to get this idea of, of adding notes to what you're doing. So instead of doing doubles in 30 second notes, eight notes on a beat, we're going to do doubles in quintuplets, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, but we're going to double each note. So you're basically getting 10 notes on each beat. So normal singles, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, So you got 10 notes, which that slight difference from doing eight, two, it makes a lot of difference when the speed gets up a bit more as well, so just having a couple of notes difference. So you've gone from the eight to the 10 notes basically on each beat with your doubles. It's good because you're actually swapping your sticking over as well, and you're not just all right hand lead. Um, which is what you want really, otherwise this is not going to do anything. Uh, next one up, quite simple rudiment, flam tap. We're going to do a flam with the right, and then a right hand tap afterwards, then a flam with the left, and then a left hand tap afterwards. You should, most of you should know this. And most of the time you're giving this, it's 16th notes. So you're doing one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the four. And at that speed, It's not going to do any benefit, not to me anyway. It's just too slow. I wouldn't get out of bed to do that. It's just a waste of time. So we want to ramp this up somehow. So let's take the, the 16th notes as four into six. So we're going to play six tuplets, but we're going to double every two notes. So right, right, left, left, right, right, and then left, left, right, right, left, left. So it's double strokes in 16th note triplets, which will sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to flam the beginning of the doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm counting eighth notes here. So that will sound like at this speed. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. So that way you're getting nine notes in the beat, in each beat, because of the doubles plus the flam at the beginning of each one. So this has now gone from eight notes to nine notes to 10 notes when you do your double strokes. So it's a, 
just a little thing extra each time, which is going to hopefully get your burn. And you need to maintain both, all three, four of these things at 100. If you can't do 100, then drop the speed down. If you can do it really easily, then you need to start up a, a, a rate a bit faster. Um, generally, I reckon you'll only get five metronome marks, 80, 85, 90. You're not going to get, you can, if you can go up to 95, then knock the 80 down and start 85. Um, if that's too easy, then take it up. So you'll see when you start doing it, how quick it actually feels when you get to that next rate. It's a lot of jump. It's a big jump, which is what you want to get that burn out of your hands. If you're one of these guys that can wake up in the morning and at 100 BPM, you can do your singles. Left hand. It's moving. You're already moving. Your chops are good at this rate already. So if you can go up five beats, five beats, five beats. I mean, if you're hitting 115 when you, you know, when you start, I mean, I'm gonna say you've got good chops, single strokes. Left hand. pushing here you know and that's going to get you warmed up because you're maintaining what you're supposed to be doing um, they're good exercises and like I said you can do them as, as the years go on things will start to change if you don't if your starting zone isn't changing it's because of your grip your technique your stiff whatever else it is so you need to go and see someone that can sort out how you're holding the sticks where your pivot point is in your hands um, your attack on the stick on the, on the kit this is all going to help because so you need to see oh, otherwise you'll just be you won't get any further and you'll just be stuck and it'll get frustrating so you need to see someone to help you to see the mechanics of how you move um, over the years I've done lots of different warm-ups um, I was a kid I started doing uh, one from accents and rebounds uh, it's a really really old book a million years old um, and he would do kind of pyramid exercises starting from the least amount of notes to the most amount of notes back down to the least amount of notes so it's kind of like nothing stressed out and then back to nothing again but as I said, with the problem with this, you're only getting the burn at the top. Uh, Gary Chafee's got one in Patterns Volume 4. He does one, um, and it's an endurance exercise, but it's in 16th notes. Same thing, starts with single strokes, 16th notes, and it just adds another note each time, 30 second note, until you get to the end. And then you back down again. So it's a burn in the middle. Um, so that's that's a good one if you've got time to do that, but I say it doesn't maintain that. Uh, Kim Plainfield's got a good one in his book, Advanced Concepts, that's talking about that 100 count thing, but he does it pretty much one hand, one hand, and then both hands together. You can check that one out. Um, obviously, Alan Dawson, he's, he had a great one. He's still, well, he's still got a good one. Um, and that one, is uh, his rudimental ritual, is very long. Um, some of you may have checked it out already, but the problem I'm going to say is that it doesn't maintain anything. You're just changing stickings all the time, which is great, but this one will make that faster because you're maintaining things as opposed to just doing it for a couple of beats and then going to something else and something else. Same thing with Tommy Iger. It's a great one, but if you're doing, you know, flamacues and then doing and then it's chopping and changing all the time. So I would say maintaining the burn if you understand what I mean, that's going to give you much more benefit as in strength, muscle memory in your hands, also in the rudiment that you're playing, and the, and the control to keep. Whatever it is you're doing. Um, so, hope this makes some sense. If you're not sure about some of the groupings and notes, let me know. Um, I can help you out with that somehow online. Um, hopefully, I'll see you out there burning away. Um, great. Okay. Good luck. See you out there. Take care.